Many conspiracy theorists have their theories on gold and the economy, that the economy is being manipulated. This is something I want to question with this news brief. Gold drops 2.5%. The article is listed below. In this, in this article, it's not only expressed that gold drops 2.5%, but also silver drops 4%. Crude oil also drops down a few percentage points, which goes to show that in actuality, do we really understand this intersection that affects our economy? Many analysts say in the article that deflation of gold is actually a reflection of the economy. But anyone who's done any type of trading understands that gold was acting as sort of comfort for the lack of strength in U.S. currencies. Most money managers offer the following hypothesis, that gold will continue to increase throughout 2012. They're expecting a 15% increase in the next few years. They're also saying that gold follows currencies and the weakness of the currency definitely affects the price of gold. The Fed responded by Vint Vernicki saying that there will be no quantitative easing for the gold markets and anything else to come in the future, which goes to show that this reaction that investors are having towards gold is not warranted. That in fact, it's not black or white when it comes to our economy, nor is it a conspiracy that things are being regulated. Gold and the economy seem to fluctuate on their own rhythms. My next topic is for my conspiracy theorists who believe in New World Order. Now it's impossible to discredit those people who have hard information that deals with the New World Order. And it's respected those people who have sound facts that lead to the New World Order theories. But this article, for those people who spend long nights researching the New World Order, this article helps those people rest at night. Airport security, governments, policymakers, they have a romantic idea that RFID chips and other biometric tools of identification are going to solve the issues of criminality worldwide. Currently in Europe, problems are evolving. Places, other places in the world have instituted biometric technology. In Manchester, passports were mixed up that had a biometric chip and the people were allowed to pass even though their identities did not match the passport. There was a percentage of people who have passed through facial recognition technology. This means that people don't necessarily have to have the same facial structure, the computer has made errors in identifying people. The technology is not sound. What's the impact of the technology not being sound? Currently, our water purification systems that we use currently have been developed in the early 60s and 40s, they were used to only take out heavy metals, 